and it only took two days to get here. Can you believe that? Hey guys, welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey guys, if you watched my video about my last trip to Kings Mountain, you remember me telling you that I needed a new tent. Well, I got it, and I'm gonna share it with you. So I was in the market for a two-person tent that would still be a good size, not too big, that I could take when I go camping. Uh, of course, I'm looking for something in a budget, around the $50 range. The tent that I went with is a Coleman Sun Dome two-person tent. And uh, I went with that because one, it was in my price range, and two, I am familiar with Coleman products and have always been happy with Coleman products. So that's why I went with the Coleman Sun Dome too. It got uh, very high stars on Amazon, and I think it was even listed as their best seller. I ordered this tent on Tuesday, and Two days later, today, Thursday, it arrived. I mean, that's great turnaround. And if you want to stick around, I'll take you on a brief tour of it. I've already got it set up. And here it is. I went with the green color because I didn't really care what color it was. You could pay eight or nine dollars more and get the navy and gray. But it's a tent. I don't care what color it is. I've got it set up right now with the rain fly, which is very secure. It has one center beam that goes across. Underneath, you'll see it has Velcro on the back and the front, as well as these little spots here that the pole goes into. It's a three-pole tent. It is freestanding. Um, in addition to the Velcro on those poles, there's also Velcro here on the rain fly that also has these thick, not just strings, but thick nylon straps that go all the way down to the ring here. And then in addition to that, the rainfly has tie downs here on the side. So you can tie it down. And what that does is it gives you ventilation right up. You see how my hand goes up in there? If I look up in there, you can see the inside, the mesh part of the tent. So that protects you from the rain, but it gives you good ventilation. Let's go around to the back of the tent. Looking at it from the back side. You can see down here is another vent spot and it just stakes into the ground. If you lift that up, you'll see there's mesh there. So that uh, allows for good ventilation. The bottom, it's got like a tub bottom, I think is what they call it. That is a heavier material. That's the base of it, and it comes up a little bit higher, so water won't splash up into the tent. Uh, if you look on the back side, you see there's a window. Of course, you can see clear through to the front side on the door, there's a window. There's mesh on the sides. So that's a good... Uh, little walk around of it. What I'm going to do now is take the rain fly off so you can see it. Alright, so now you can see how it looks without the rain fly. Very open. So in the spring and summertime it's not raining. You're going to get a lot of good airflow through there. 
in the front left corner here you'll see there's a little pocket it unzips from the outside or the inside but rain won't go in that's for putting electric cords it's a two pole construction it just goes through as you can see on the top there and then it clips on each side here and here same on the back you have a zipper cover here which is great on the door I'm going to unzip it and then we'll take a look at the inside so here we are now on the inside you can see over here it's got a little uh, basket you can hang your cell phone, wallet, keys stuff like that there's another one over here on this side for the same thing over here in this corner is the port where the electric cable can come in and then on the top there is a little ring here so you could hang a lantern or a light right there and uh, but yeah it's uh, seven feet by five feet so if I lay down you can see I've still got plenty of leg room another person could join me there or my gear will be there and then you can still look up at night into the starry sky you can see on the back side here that's that vented area see how it goes down water won't come in but air flows through and then of course you've got your typical you know little locks here that hold uh, the window if you want to zip that up to block some wind now on the sides it's open no matter what the only way those sides are going to be covered is if you have the rain fly so if you're looking for privacy in this tent um, you're gonna have to have the rain fly on because you can see how on the sides here that's wide open but it does give great ventilation all right of course you can do the same thing on the front on the door you can zip that up zip that around so that the door is closed and uh, so yeah, it's, I'm sitting up in it right now. You can, you can see I'm on my knees right now. And I still have plenty of headroom. So uh, yeah, it's a seven by five. It weighs right in at six pounds. So this is not a review because I haven't actually used it yet. I'm just showing it to you. I think I'll probably sleep in it tonight. The only thing I don't really like about it is the size of the bag. You can see there, that's the carry bag. You can see in comparison to my foot, that's not gonna fit in a backpack. So what I'm gonna do is when I take it down tomorrow, cause we're, uh, I'll sleep in it tonight, but when I take it down tomorrow, I'm gonna see if it'll fit inside of my Kelty compression bag but anyway I just thought I'd give you a little tour of the new temporary traveling home it's the Coleman Sun Dome two-person tent just a tad over fifty dollars on Amazon and it arrived in two days that's all I got for you guys today I appreciate you coming along on Arab and Outdoors till next time keep calm carry on Keep it outdoors.